Hello, hello. Today I will show you how to fix Vegas Pro 14 Edit Steam Edition. So that that bad boy right there. So I never had any problem um, with other computers, but uh, once I moved with another computer, I wasn't able to install it. Well, I was able to install it, but what happened is that it will just pop out a error message that will say uh, error 2 so like kind of like this guy error code 2 it'll just just send this all of the time so uh, the solution uh, is actually right here this person what the, the, the this person was saying that you know you go over here and over there so we're gonna we're just gonna follow it because the the problem with it is that there was one point where all of those people were actually wrong uh, so it was really 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 annoying um, so just for you guys to not do the same mistake as I did and stayed for two weeks without being able to actually fix the, the problem so um, so the first thing uh, navigate to steam, state apps, command, you know, delete the Vegas Pro so just go on your Steam. The easiest way is just to go right click on the Vegas Pro 14 edit. Uh, you go to local files and you're gonna do browse local files. So I'm not gonna do all of the proper way. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how to do it because I don't want to mess up my <laughs> proper installation. It was this annoying. Um, so you have the, the file just right here and just what you're gonna do is you're gonna delete you're just gonna go back because you end up in your file just go back in common and just delete this thing so just delete the the, the file where it is um, after that what I'm saying um, so you did that Afterwards, you're gonna go to the Control Pro to install, you know, the the file. So I'm a French guy; everything is in French. I'm sorry. So just go in, you know, in your on your Control Panel. Uh, just tap Control Panel. You can see it down there. Actually, you just have to co put Control, and normally you'll have for me it's panneau de configuration. Um, and you're gonna go. So you have different categories. Just go into categories, and you go down there to uh, uninstall a program. So you're gonna search uh, for Vegas and you're gonna have probably two or only one. Um, so you're just gonna right click on it and just uninstall. And so the, the, the first week, which was the problem, is that I wasn't able to do anything uh, and I had to reset my computer because the first one that I'm clicking on it uh, will not install, but the other one will install. So it was just messing up all of the, the computer, which is which was really really annoying. So you're just gonna well click that and install. I'm not gonna do it. It's easy to do. You're gonna see how to do it. Um, so after that, when you're done here, uh, you're gonna go back to Steam and you're gonna just install Steam again. So probably you'll just have to go under software and install that thing. Uh, I'm gonna back to install. Uh, after that. Uh, what happens? So you reinstall it. It's about 500 megabytes, not a lot. And so this, this is the place where they just mess up the thing. Uh, so you're not gonna. After you install it, you just don't touch it. Don't launch it yet because it's a, the launch option that actually mess up the the installation. Uh, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna go at that link is saying now after it's finished and loading copy and paste into the bar of the top of the file explorer some people doesn't understand I wasn't able to understand you're gonna copy that thing all of that so control C or right click copy you know and you're gonna go in your file explorer for, for example here and you're gonna paste that here except that guy actually forgot something um, I'm gonna put a link to that. You're just gonna what you're gonna do is just I'm gonna put it a link, not a link, but a copy in the description. So like this, you'll just have not to have to copy all of that thing that you just wrote. 
and just mess up it needs to be actually like this how you see it and it's just gonna press enter and it's gonna it's gonna take the normal install procedure procedure uh, English stuff and uh, you're just gonna install the normal procedure of normally what you're supposed to install and so what's gonna happen is that afterwards it's gonna be like the normal installation and you're just gonna choose the language from its French or English whatever and it's gonna install but after that you like Oh well, okay, it's fixed. I'm gonna go. You're gonna launch it, and it'll be it'll be like error two. It'll be oh well, crap. It's still not fixed. So what you're gonna do is actually afterwards it just tells you what you're gonna do, and it it tells to go to program files, Vegas, Vegas Pro 14, all that good stuff, and you it's just basically copy some files to put it in another file. So you could go there. Program files, Vegas, and you only have shared plugins. So the first time, actually, well, that doesn't do anything. And actually, those people forgot to actually put the good one. Like, it's not supposed to be like that. For normally, it's not under program files. I mean, depends. Maybe it's for other people, but it's actually under program data and you'll have the the is it Vegas Vegas yes Vegas and there is this Vegas Pro just here just Vegas in Vegas Pro oop no I'm totally wrong so yeah sorry uh, so since I actually fixed that thing um, it's not the same exactly on my computer and I don't want to mess up in anything so uh, what's gonna happen is that you have one file that is called Vegas Pro 14 uh, so it's like he's saying right now uh, particularly under program files it can also be under program data which is actually a hidden file so let me see if I can actually f yeah um, so in case if it's your files actually hidden the one way to fix it is to just go on one of these so it's like you go on the affichage for me it's in French sorry uh, I don't remember it's display but I think it should be at the same locations on the right and you just type that and on one of those they'll be like put the ghost files on that's normally the third one it's like show the hidden files so I'll just put that and I'll just pop out so for me the problem as I said is that there wasn't the Vegas the Vegas file they, there wasn't anything in it and you're gonna go in program data uh, as it says Vegas 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 Pro uh, wait Vegas Vegas Pro 14 and normally normally this be there'll be more file but what you're gonna do is that just let's say that this file is actually in there uh, wait a second so normally the this file is in here so you're just gonna go in there control A so, and you're gonna copy everything so let's say that this this all of these file actually in this file that was under program data and you're just gonna copy and paste it in the Vegas Pro 14 file in your in your Steam library it's just gonna go Vegas Pro 14 Vegas Pro 14 and copy all of that good stuff in there uh, which I'll act will actually put your your comp like all of the program up because it was you know error code too so remember uh, if you wanna go on the desk file either you go through the files which is kinda like a pain in the butt or you just go like through steam or you just put properties local files, pros local files and you'll be there and just have to copy all of that thing in there so yeah that's pretty much it that's the whole installation uh, and I mean as a proof because I actually fixed that yesterday night and I was like oh so good uh, 
the launch and it's here it's alive <laughs> 